Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to do some more uh, Draconium evolution in terms of weapons and things like that. So let's get started. So last series we were preparing the stuff for this uh, Draconic Staff of Power last episode, I mean. So let's see if we can make this now. That's, in fact, I need to just check the recipe. So we need a Draconic Core. We need these three tools, plus we need one, two, and we need a Draconic Energy Controller. Six Awakened Draconium Ingots. So let's set it up. So that's actually 10 items. That's why we have to make the next level of um, Infuser. So of course it's going to take, that goes into here. And you'll see I've moved things around now. So this is actually one block up and I put the chest below it. Not, actually not that important. Let's put these down. And then we need the, the, the tools and the weapons. So we've got the sword, we've got the pickaxe, and we have got the last, oops, got it in my hand, of course, the shovel. All of which are powerful in their own right. So let's get this crafted. I'm not sure how much power it needs. Let's have a look quickly before we start. Um, 256 million. That's a lot of power. So it might take quite a long time to craft this. So it is charging up, as you can see. It'll be getting most of the power from here, which is probably getting from the reactor. So we can leave this for a few seconds and have a look at, as you can see, things are now starting to slowly charge up. How long is it going to take? It's going to take a while. And it's starting to spark. That's cool. Next thing. I've made a, a Supremium Sword. Now, if you have a look at the recipe for Supremium Sword, it's, it's one of these that you go... For, upgrade the previous level. So this was an Imperium Sword, which is made with these uh, Supremium Gemstones. So you need actually about 10 diamonds to do this. You need one diamond for, two diamonds for the sword, diamond sword, you can from diamond sword. And then you need, for each of these, you need um, two diamonds for each level. So that's eight, there's four levels, so that's eight. Plus you need these Supremium Ingots, so you need eight of those. And then therefore each level you need eight dust. And then I looked at the uses of this, and it tells you you can enchant it, but you can't enchant it. Let's go back again now, uh, directly. Let's have a look at the use of, of the Imperium Sword. You can actually then put this on the anvil. So you can actually enchant this. In fact, you can put it on the... If you, if you can do it on the anvil, then you can do it else in the enchanting table. As you can see, the things get up. So what I had to do in order to get this in, enchanted, as you can see, it's, it's reasonably well enchanted. Is that what I did was we built a few bits and pieces of uh, industrial foregoing. I haven't really done any of that on camera, but I don't think that's too important. For example, here I've got uh, oh, not very much milk left on this one. Slime balls and uh, is it using power, it's probably using power for the different stuff. And in here I've got an enchantment sorter. And here I've got an enchantment ex extractor. And what this is, it removes an enchantment from an item. So, for example, I've got lots of items in here. So what I was doing is, oh, yes, I've got this enchanting table here, like that. So, for example, I wanted to enchant something. Let's say I want to enchant this steel sword. You can see it's actually got level 30 in here already without me putting in the um, uh, lapis lazuli. I do need to put that in, but you can see it works. And I have got no bookshelves around, as you can also see. And the reason for that, let's have a look, we've got a trinket. And it's this one here, Book of, Chant Book of Chanting. So no, no sh bookshelf needed to enchant. In other words, no bookshelf needed to do anything. It's Rarity Master. The next one I got was a Serpent's Tooth, which means you poison your enemies, which is also quite nice. <laughs> You're poisoning the people you're hitting. This one was a looting upgrade. It's a legendary one. Those are all pretty good. And this one, this last one, I got Mind's Eye. You can see invisible enemies. That's actually really quite neat. I should, well, I probably might see that in action at some stage. So what you do is you disenchant things and then you put them on the tool on the anvil. And you, so I've got watching, well, got another book prepared in here, like this. I wanted to put knockback two on this sword as well because it's got all the good enchants that you can get on here. So I wanted to put it on here, but it's too expensive, as you can see, too expensive. In fact, I need to put the book in. It says it's already too expensive. Now there might be a way to do this. Um, this is about. I think this is the only disenchantment 
or the enchantment extract is the only way to do that. But we could actually have a look at this. Uh, there is an enchanter, an enchantment applicator. And these things are all, oh, so it's steel ingots, that's no big deal. Uh, uh, sorry, anvils, no big deal. Gold gear is no big deal. Advanced machine frame, this is a bit of a pain actually, but it's not too difficult because you need netherite scraps, plastic, simple machine frame, which is again made on here. So you're going from pretty machine frames, nether bricks, iron, gold gears to make one of these. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's not, but it's not actually that difficult. Plastic is actually really easy. So we're getting in here. I've got wood in this mechanical place. Uh, uh, placing blocks of wood down. They're getting processed here, so it's extracting the fluid. It's using the power to do that, so it goes faster. And as you can see in here, I've got some tiny dry rubber. I've got, I already processed nine stacks of that, which makes one stack of plastic. I can't find where I put it though. <laughs> Dear. So this is still processing. Let's have a look how far we got now. It might be slowing down. I'm not sure. 14 per six. Oh yes, it's slowing down. Um, but it should still be going actually. It's all because you see sparks happening. 14.6. This is probably a problem of. Well, actually, this should be working. I'm not sure why it's not working. Let's have a look underneath here. Make sure I haven't broken anything. Um, Oh, it's this one. Sorry, yes. On on here, I've got an ender gate nitro. Well, we'll check the ender gate. Make sure I'm using the right channel. I'm not. I should be using channel one. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Oops. That's how you change the channels, as well. You can so the ender gate uses that. But what I was surprised about. So we'll go with this now. Good thing I checked. There, you can see it's going up reasonably quickly. And is this charging up or not? Yes, this is charging up, which means the reactor's got enough power in it to supply this. So I'll say what surprised me is on the ender gate, you can also put, you select which channel you want it to use. So you can only use one of its 12 channels at any one time, which sort of surprised me. Uh, I was expecting it to be able to use all 12 channels, uh, send out on all 12 channels, and you can select which one you're using here, as you can see. So I'll tell you what, I'll be back when this is just about finished. So, finished, so it's crafting, let's have a look at that craft. Oh, that's going quite fast, isn't it? So any second now, we should have the Staff of Power. Fantastic, we've got it. Let's take this. So it requires an energy module. Everything requires an energy module. Ooh, huh. it's got one of these crystals in it. It looks really cool, actually. <laughs> I quite like the look of it. People do say that Draconic Evolution has got um, it's a bit over the top, but it, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a huge amount of work to get it to go, and that's what the guy, that's what the developer says. I've got this stuff prepared. Where did I put it? Oh, I know, probably over here. Yes, I've got some stuff in over here. I prepared an area of effect module, a wyvern uh, shield capacity module, and an a wyvern energy module. So we could actually use that. I've also made a draconic chest and an energy transfuser. Now the draconic chest is actually interesting because it says, if you look at this in here, it says work in progress, content saved. Slash slash means work in progress, which so it usually means it doesn't work. But since we can craft it, and the recipe for crafting it is like this. So it's one chest, no big deal. Five furnaces, two crafting tables, two draconic cores, and one block of um, draconium, no draconium block. And let's have a look at it when we put this down. It's actually pretty neat. So um, let's put it up here like that. You'll see it can take all sorts of stuff. And it's a huge, it's a huge one. If I remember rightly, it was 26 by um, 9. No, by 10. So it's 260 slots you've got in this thing to start with. You've got a crafting table in it. And you've got furnaces in it too. And it depends on which core you're using, how fast it goes. So for instance, this is the Wyvern core. If I put a draconic core in here, then it'll be it'll be faster. In fact, it tells me somewhere. Where does it tell me? I think if I... It should tell me where it works. No. 
displays additional information, always active, or to fill off, change color. So you can, you're supposed to be able to recolor it, but it doesn't work. <laughs> no matter what you do, it stays the same. Oops, I want to this press. So for instance, if I bump up the green like this, then it should become a light green one, but it's not. So it, does I have to click a button? Press escape. Oh, yes, it does work. Huh, sorry. I thought it didn't work. It doesn't close sometimes, as you may notice, but that's a sort of well done. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize it could do that. I missed that because of the, the other bits. But anyway, if you, if you do this, you can then craft uh, use this as a furnace like this. And if you put in a different, where did it tell me that, how fast it was going? See, it's doing 10 at a time. So we've got five slots here, and it's doing 10 at a time. It's using power, of course, from here, like this. And this is the amount of power, so we could actually, I'm not sure if we can power it up or not. So that stack was done fairly quickly like that. Just for the sake of what this can do. So it's a handy chest with a large number of slots. Maybe I should move this, this one isn't as big by any means it's only got i say only <laughs> it's got seven i think that's seven no it's eight isn't it by 18 so eight by 18 is considered is not nowhere near 260. Mm. right anyway distraction so now we have to put a a core into this one of the things that's an energy module so what the one we need to do is probably the that's the capacitor we do need capacitors draconic energy controller it's the draconic energy module isn't it oh yes we need a module don't we so the one we want is i'm just looking for it being blind this one so for that we need two wire and energy modules and some awakened draconium Actually, what have we got? We're missing. So we've already got one of these Wyvern energy modules. So we need another one and a, a Wyvern core. So let's make up the Wyvern core. No, we need to make up some. Uh, six will do. Actually, I've just, you go through. I've literally made two stacks of this already, and it has disappeared. It's using up so much just to do this stuff. But it takes quite a long time. So let's try that again. So now we should be able to make up the core here. Yeah? I'm missing now. I'm missing draconium. So. Actually, I've got plenty of deconium. I've actually been putting it in here. I've been making it. I turned off the um, this this pot, power pot here for the time being because it was it was getting really full. But let's turn it back on again because it uses up quite a lot of the power. So I just change this to channel one. That should start to make stuff again. As you can see, it's working again. This one I've left running. Oh, I probably can turn this one off now. Let's just turn it off. All I have to do is just select a different channel that's not working. <laughs> like that. So that's stopped working. In fact, it will have some of its own stuff in here. So it has 192 awakened draconium in there. So this will fairly quickly make 32 per go. Actually, let's have a look. We're about three seconds now to go. So it makes 32 per go. And sometimes it makes seeds. And when it makes seeds, it makes more than one seed at a time. So let's look at the, oh, I've got it's already made up, haven't I? Let's find a place for it. I'm not going to get much of it in here, we'll just try three stacks. And here I've got some other stuff I can't make in yet. Right, let's carry on, let's make this one. So now we needed to make the energy core, which we've got to make this chronic core, which we've got enough for now, no problem. And then we need to make the, um, where's it gone to? This one here. So we need to make another Wyvern energy module, which requires two energy modules. So we need, to, which probably means I've got to make, ah, oh, blocks of redstone and these. I've got to make these energy cores. So we've got to make two of those. And I'm missing redstone. Okay, right. Can I get some redstone? I'll be back in a second. Oh, okay. Well, I can come straight here and make two from this. I'll probably be able to make a lot more now. Probably better making about, actually probably better making eight or something like that to start with. You use them up all over the place and a lot of them anyway so you might as well just go straight to it so this is the one we want to make so we're missing one of these so we're missing two of these let's click these into place we should be able to have enough materials now of five we just need two and then we should be able to make the draconic energy module no we need to make this one first i forgot about that so we can make one of those no problem and now we should be able to make it cool as you see lots of crafting lots of time it does take a lot of time so now we can put this into this tool. So let's do Alt and 1. And this is what I've got in the armor at the moment. 
I did make the uh, this one as well. We'll come to that in a second. So here we have it, the draconic stuff of power. So you need to put some an energy module in it. In fact, I'm not sure how many you need in this. We can also put an area of effect module in here like this. So that gives it an area of a three by three. Let's have a look at now it's charged up. How much does it tell it? Oh, it's a 15.75 attack damage. I need this to be, I think, 100 in order to go and do the Chaos Dragon. <laughs> That's a lot. So we have to increase that. And I think the way we increase that is with Draconic Damage Modules here. So this increases the attack damage by 8. Um, but it doesn't, we, there's no limit for these. So we need for this, we need two Dragon Breath. That's, we've got those already. Wyvern Cores. Uh, Wyvern Damage Modules. Again, Draconic Cores and Damage Modules. What are we using is potions of strength. That's no big deal. So we need these and this. I might be able to. What am I missing in here? To a uh, too large wrong place. Let's just do it over here. So we're willing really to start with a damage module here. So we need these potions of strength. How many can I do? I can do four easily enough. Let's go and do some of those. This is again just time consuming. I'd really need a better way to do this. So potions of strength. Have I got any with me? Swiftness, leaping. Healing, healing. I haven't got any with me. But potions of strength, basically, let's just put some bottles in here. We've got bottles. Um, how many bottles have we got in here? running out. I've been using them a lot. As you can see. I had that chest full. And I also had the hopper full. So there was quite a few of those. Um, water bottle, no effects. What else I've got in there? So we need another one. And a potion of strength is blaze powder. So that's all we need for these two. Let's put those into that. And then that should actually start to make these potions of strength. They'll be back and we'll do that and come back in a minute when those are done. But while that's happening, let's go and have a look at something else. What I've got up here, in fact, I should have really gone through my little portal over here. Don't think it, oh, that's made like this. I want to have a look at blood magic. I've done some blood magic. Because we need a bucket of blood, don't we? I'm always picking up eggs. In fact, the eggs are coming from that ship over there. Well, so what I need from here, let's go to the uh, the backpack here. A bucket of blood. What you need to do for a bucket of blood? Oh, I've got plenty of buckets. So let's put those back up in there. I have got here a, an incense altar. And around it, I put some flowers. In fact, if you look at this, it says Tranquility Zero, but it has got a bonus to 20. Uh, in here, I've actually got enough blood to make it a bucket of blood. But the way you do this, let's take the sword out. Oops, I need an empty hand, I think. Let's take the sword out of here. Like that. And you see it's glowing. Let's come over the other side, because I want to show you it not glowing, if it's possible. What that means is it's going to fill up this tank here as much as it can in terms of my health so it's going to use bring me down to one heart but of course i've got a lot of saturation so that's no big deal let's right click click this and feel it up oh wrong <laughs> let's try it. left i have to keep myself down right click it but not on the thing itself let's put the bucket of blood in here first of all and that's going to the bucket and that will actually right click it onto the altar will actually give you a bucket of blood These bits are really straightforward. There's nothing complicated about this at all. So take that off. So now this has got in it two seven seven six milli buckets of blood. So if I right click this now. You'll see my heart went right down to here, and this is no longer glowing. Oops. But now it is. And the reason it is, it's because of the incense altar. The incense altar did that. And how much blood have we got in here now? After look at this again. Give the bucket of blood out. Five. Three six eight. So this is on a tier one. So it's putting quite a large amount of uh, blood into that. So I'll just put this back on there like that for the next bucket of blood that we require. I'm not sure how much I'm going to do with blood magic, but it is. Uh, oh, picking up eggs. <laughs> Have I got? No, that's turned off. I think the one, the one is it's coming from is this ship here. But for some reason, this ship is full of wrong ship. This ship here is full of turtles, 
and f slimes, rabbits and chickens. <laughs> Sorry, it makes me laugh. Oh, this is, by the way, a mob grinder here. Because I needed some um, pink slime. Yeah, and you get that from grinding... Uh, actually, I was grinding um, cows. I built some, and actually could grind the pig as well, one of the pigs as well. But pigs, no pigs, we, got, we can make more pigs. So what I'm doing with these eggs now, I'm getting them because they are becoming a bit of a nuisance. Probably should slaughter all the chickens to be dead on this video. So I put them into here. That That's just a hopper that's going straight into a trash can. So, right. Bucket of blood. Let's have a look at the use of the bucket of blood. That was to make a, a totem of the undying. Let's make that. We've got all the bits. Just copper, gold in this. So we get a totem of the undying. The uses of the totem of the undying. So look at this was to make one of these wyvern and dying modules. So we've got everything we need except for another draconian. Cool, let's make one of those up. I'm not sure how many of these we can make. So we'll look. 23, that's a reasonably good number. And it's probably because of diamonds. I'm going to actually click these in. So we're going to, we're going to need these. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm going to need stacks of them. And it's either gold or recipe. So these are going to be gold. Yes, gold and diamonds, which will run out. You go through a lot of gold too. So now we should be able to make up this to this uh, recovering, dying, undying module. Shield we've made already. All the rest of it we've made already. So now we have this. And then the uses of the, uses of the undying modules, we now need to do this one. So we need a draconic shield. I made too many of these, but I'm actually finding I'm using these. And then a potion of healing too. And so I'm just missing some bits and pieces let's get these out here let's need to make two of these i'll shift click them in so we can make three probably running out of nether stars in that case and you go through nether stars like crazy as well so that is one thing you do use a lot of what else did i need this potion of healing i made those they're very straightforward all potions are really quite straightforward potion of healing health instant health too recipe for that Earth glowstone on top of potions of healing, which is just a, glyster a glycerine melon slice on top of awkward potion. That's it. So we should now have enough to make this. This one. Oh, I'm missing the shield. I've got the shield somewhere actually. Where did I put the shield? I've been putting things in f different places because my. This is getting too full, as you can see, it's too full. I'll tell you what, I'll find it and come back in a second. Well, I can't find it, <laughs> which brings me on to something else, which we've got to have to do. Let's have a now look at the uses of this, and we can then make it up. I made a new one. Actually, not that difficult, to be honest with you. So we've now got a second dry, uh, undying module, and this gives a maximum, as you can see here, charge read time is 60 seconds, maximum. Health boost is 12 health points. Uh, charging is 100, is 10 million. And it's maximum installable is two. So we've got now two of these. So we can actually put this into the armor. Of course, it don't stack like that, but this one charged. And you can see this is now charging up. Um, and on the bottom left-hand side here, you can see that it's now got uh, two undying modules one's orange and the other one's red but it's going orange so i'm not quite sure what that means so what it means is i've basically got to do some inventory management because because i'm getting there's too many chests around i can't find them all so what i'm going to look at is next i'm going to look at um this mod uh the storage mod in fact let's go up here and have a look at the quest because that tells me <laughs> it was basically digital storage so it's it's this one this drives from refined storage. Gosh, that took a lot of effort to, to think about, didn't it? Uh, and we have to make these machine casings, which is basically polished or any stone with these quartz enriched iron around them. The recipe for those, let's say three quartz and uh, three iron and one quartz will make four, which is fine. And then we've got some, we can make it with essence as well. So I'm going to make those with essence. Anything which is an alloy, we can make with essence. 
They might as well claim that reward because I've done that one. So I get an improved process, so that's good. Uh, this one here is another random reward. This is for the disc, 1K disk storage, and I got an uncommon grab back shader. I have to be careful what's in my inventory at the moment. Oh, I've got plenty of space for makes a pleasant change. <laughs> so now we've got the controller here, which I guess we have to have anyway. And that gives me a mob imprisonment tool. In fact, I've already got, got one of those at random wood, but it's not too difficult to make these days. So we've got some aluminium seeds, which should probably complete another quest. And then we've got a stone mattock, absolutely useless these days. And then we get a rare grab chain, another one, another grab chain about this immersive engineering stuff that we don't need. So I'm going to carry on doing this and figure out how to use it and then come back. Because like, now we've got mystical agriculture. And I think the, the one that's probably here is the aluminium seed, which is just a tier two seed anyway. And it gives us a ring of, ring of dexterous motion. Interesting. I think that's the only one on there that's not done, yes. Blood magic. Okay. Made the blood altar. You see me use that and the sacrificial knife. The look at the recipe for this one is very straightforward. It is four gold, one furnace, and some polish a stone or polished anthracite. Flavor it doesn't matter which. These are these are end stone mod uh, better end stones, but just ordinary stone will do. Cheap, cheerful, and not too difficult to do. What was the other one? Um was the sacrificial dagger. Just five pieces of glass, one gold and one iron nugget, also pretty cheap. Um, the incense altar I got as a reward, and we get some bacon sandwiches. Oh, that's good. And we get a random reward, which we get an ender chest, which, which also we can make, so they're not a big deal these days. Recipe for those. It's just a chest with some blaze rods, some obsidian wool, and an ender pearl. That's all we have to do for that one. Back to the quest. Let's have a look at those. And we all, I also had to make an orb. You always have to make an orb. That's just a diamond in in the altar. And that will give one weak blood orb for 2,000 LP. So that's just two blood. But I've basically won two sets of clicks, if I remember rightly. No big deal. So we can claim that reward. Get some lead seeds. And the next one here is a tier 2 altar and a dagger of sacrifice. And an apprentice blood orb. This one is just basically making blank ruins. And all you have to do to make a blank ruin is to put... This is this the weak blood orb never gets used up. It's a blank slate. So that's just 1,000 LP. It's a stone. It has to be stone or a sort of stone in the altar. And it will give a, a blank slate. They're actually quite easy and cheap to do. I covered this in a previous chat, uh, in a previous series, actually. Did the Blood Magic series. I'm not going to go too much into detail in that one. Let's go back and finish off this quest reward before I carry on. And then we'll have a quick look at the, how effective these tools are. Okay. So, that was that one done. So that's Mr. Miscellaneous. I, we did the pot, power pot two last, last episode. So we get a dimensional cell, which is something else which we're not covered yet. That's... Um, which reward mod is that one? It's RF Tools, I think. Yeah, this would be this one. We should just completed that quest for. Um, and we get another Garden Close. The Garden Closes, in fact, are not that useful in this particular uh, series, I mean, this mod pack. I'll be right, I'll be back in a second. We'll empty out my inventory. So I've done that. I've cleaned out the inventory a bit, so that's now done. Um, I would probably need to do some of this. Draconian Evolution, we've done. Let's have a look at the storage one, because we've got a oh draconium chest, which I made. Gives a random reward, which gives us a sewer. Actually quite useful for animal stuff, as it happens. Whether I, I don't know how much I'm going to do industrial foregoing. Uh, I'm certainly going to... I haven't been covering it yet, but maybe we should just do a little bit of it. But I have covered that in previous series, and it's no different from earlier series. So the last one, oh, industrial foregoing, of course we got the sewers, <laughs> gives another reward. And we got another basic jetpack. And then, industrial uh, reconic evolution. We've got a, I did the speed upgrade, very straightforward. Recipe for that one is this. Just bottles of potions, potions of Swiss, clocks, iron, and these uh, module cores. Lots of module cores are required. They're not too expensive, fortunately. So we can get a, a band of mana, which is another 
Britannia thing. We're getting quite a lot of high level Britannia stuff. Module of an area of effect, which gives us some hot granite graphite seeds. So that's actually, quite, oddly enough, they're quite useful. Um, let's have a look at the recipe for this because it's obvious that we're using this. So we need this immersive engineering hot granite hot gra gra graphite ingots. And that's made from basically hot graphite dust, which is actually, you need it in industrial squeezers, the only way to get that. Okay, so that's actually quite high level um, immersive engineering, which I'm definitely not going to do any of, unless we have to. So what else have we got? I did the step module. They're fairly straightforward, just boots. Uh, yeah, just golden boots look, and pistons. And it gives you a step up. Whether that's great or not, I don't know. But. So we get another uh, RF tools reward. And then we've got here, we've got the uh, Wyvern projectile velocity module, uh, which is a great one as it happens. And how many have we got? Oh, we've got another Supremium growth accelerator. And then we get another, well, this was the um, projectile accuracy module. And that gives us a clay ball, fantastic. <laughs> and then I did the Wyvern Projector Gravity Compensation Module. And that gives a diamond mesh, which would of course have been excellent earlier on. But I've got plenty of this now. And then this one was a, a Wyvern Projector Damage Module, which gives us some Enderium seeds, which actually are very good if you're doing thermal. And we're not doing it yet, anyway. So, ah. I've got, this can't be the first one, I shall, this is the Draconic stuff apart, and I've got the Draconic chest plate, why is it not showing these ones up, because we've done the Wyvern chest plate in order to, to get that one done, I don't know, because it's part of, maybe I didn't put it in my hand or something, but sometimes the quests don't always detect, so that's a bit of a nuisance, but let's put this stuff away and I'll be back in a second, right, I actually made some more nether stars from the nether essence so not yes from the nether essence we've got and now i wanted to make this damage module didn't die because it says it does eight plus so it does eight plus but we've got to make these first so we need to actually make four of these i don't think i can just yet but we can certainly make two so the recipe for that again is all we're missing is another potion of strength which we've now got let's come along here just take those out of it because that's right click this so these are all potions of strength and that's filling in the water bottles again and i've run out of water bottles so i have to make some more water bottles and then with these potions of strength we should be able to make another one of these and the uses of these two because we need two we need a potion of strength two and that'll all that be a bit glowstone on potions of strength right i can't do that just yet so we'll just put this into into here because you can do that, it's no big deal. There's no reason why you can't just do these to start with. So you can shift click those into there. And so the damage was 15 before. Let's have a look at it now. So it's 19, so it's gone up by four. So it's not going to take too many of these before we get to really good damage levels. So let's go and have a look at how this works. Maybe I've got some mobs down here. In fact, I've got a quick way to get here now. I've put a, I set up this pedestal, this location pedestal, and I'll come straight here. Oh yes, there's a couple of mobs over here. I can't see what it is. I think it's a blizz. Let's just turn on the mini map. Yeah, it's a basalt, okay. Let's just take the bow because it's on the other side. And I need some arrows, don't I? Let's get the arrows out. Cause I think a stack of arrows because they're really you'll see of how effective these are nowadays. Because I've upgraded the I've upgraded the draconic bow. Like this. There's a one hit. Oh wow. What happened there? Did I get shot at? Oh yes, the, the armour changed colour when it was being attacked. So I got two basalt shards from that. Because we've got looting on this as well. Uh, from one of those trinkets. So as you can see, uh, basalts are quite tough normally. So it takes more than one hit. Let's go and have a look in the ends now. Right, I'll see you when I get to the end. So here's an enderman. Perfect. So that was two hits with this sword. But the sword doesn't take any damage. So what we the intention is to get more than just two hits. 
can I get out of it? I can't get out of it because... <laughs> and I can't use this, it's got area of effect 3, so if I want to use it, it bashes too much stuff out of the way. Let's take this one, this is a fairly good pickaxe. Chickens are pushing me around a bit. So now, let's use the bow again. Let's go up, let's pick on this Enderman over here. He's not moving. And it hit him one hit. Now, the, why did that happen? Because in the bow, I've got one of the nice things. Let's have a look, bolt one. So I created this one. Project, pro, projectile immunity cancellation module. Does it, it's a bit of a strange thing, but it's got an enderman with an arrow through it, which means you can shoot endermen. Also, you'll notice that I've got these draconic uh, projectile damage modules. I don't think there's a limit of these, but, but what they do is they increase the inaccuracy by 6%. Um, these ones here are accuracy modules. So when you look at this, I've got an uh, um, inaccuracy of minus 5, which means it's spot on target. It doesn't do any harm whatsoever. We can easily use this on all our targets. But if I add another 2 in here, then it's going to maybe it's not so accurate. I've got a feeling I don't need this when we're going to do the chaos stack on. So I'm going to make some more of these between episodes. These are the damage modules, which do a lot of damage. So killing an enderman in one sh shot with a bow is very difficult. We don't normally do that. We can normally not do that. So a mine cart in his head. I've got a chest on my head this time. So that's one of those things. Um, and I would actually also like to test the, the other weapon now, wouldn't I? Let's see. 15. Oh, full. Okay, I've got 16 eggs. I'm getting too many eggs. That's not big problem. Get rid of the eggs. Right. A few little chickens around. So let's go and test this on, on, on an Enderman. Here's one. He's, he'll be angered now. But you see he's got poison on him as well. You can see how much heart. Can't look at him too long. So it's, it's not anywhere near as effective at the moment as. Where has he gone to? For some reason he's not. Oh, it's going to be pretty easy to use this. Uh, and when we've. Oh, they always, as soon as you look at them, you have to be quick. Like that. And then you can get them. Right, good. I've probably got some ender pearls now. Oh, yes, I've quite a few ender pearls. <laughs> right, time to go back home. I'll see you when I'm home. Okay, back home. I've got, I haven't shown you this, the energy transfuser. All this is, is just a charger. So you can put items in and charge things up. And it, it charges items from left to right. In fact, I think it tells us, yes, sequential input priority. So it'll, it'll do the left one first. But this is obviously a mode you can change. So you've got balanced input priority. So that means that they're going to be all full sl slots at the same time. And those are the two choices. So yeah, exactly. So you get a quarter of the, of the charge per item. But we don't need that because we've got this um, player transmitter stuff that gives us quite a lot of power as it happens. Um, let's have a look at the armor. I want to just have a look. One more thing I want to cover before I go today is in here. I've got a lot more slots in it. Oh, that's where it was. <laughs> oh, no, wonder I couldn't find them. Right. I think you can have multiples of these, but it does increase the operating cost. As you can see, this is there. The reason this is five uses four slots, which is better. So maybe we can put more of these in here. This is the you're only allowed to have one. And I've got the top one for this level. Uh, I'm not sure I've got a speed one in here, a conic speed module, which increases the speed of 50% when we're running, which is cool. Uh, energy modules, I think we also need, but maybe I have to use capacitors. I've got this uh, jump module, so I, get, I can jump up reasonably high. But only one, I don't need too many. And we've only got one of these shield controllers, so that's fine, that's no big deal. And flight, probably very handy to have, especially when we go to the try and do the chaos dragon. A lot more preparation to do. So that's it for this episode. Uh, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.